Hello and welcome to the Yogscast. We're playing Guild Wars 2, the press beta that just came out this weekend. We're going to have a look at the Norn race, and um, obviously a choice between male and female. The Norn are these kind of icy humanoid hunters from the from the mountains, and oh, they're, everyone's so beautiful in Guild Wars 2. So I can be Elementalist, um, which is the sort of spellcaster, Warrior, I look like an Amazonian. Um, sort of guardian, kind of a, a soldier type. It's engineer, uh, which is uh, turrets and all sorts of cool stuff. Ranger with the animal pets. Necromancer with the undead pets, I guess, and the horrible stuff. Thieves and awesomely Mesmers. Oh my god, what am I wearing? Um, I think I might be a Mesmer. Simon, what are you going to play? I'm going to be an engineer and I'm going to try and make him look a bit like a dwarf even though he's quite large. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a challenge. There's no dwarves in this game. Um, unfortunately. I think there are dwarves in the lore but I think they might have all died off. Expansion so, pack. A bit like in Skyrim. Yeah, actually, yeah, it is a bit. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so you can choose all your tattoos. Everyone looks utterly beautiful. There's hairstyles, you can do a lot of adjustments to this and make them very Nordish and change your dyes at any stage. There's over 400 dyes in this game, oh so did you know that? That's a lot of dyes. And you sort of unlock them, you don't have to pay for them, you can like dye anything at any time. There's a pirate hat there. Oh my goodness. So the, the character customization is very, very good and I like it. Oh god, and of course I get a horrible mask. I forgot. I almost forgot about the mask. Ah, yeah. Um, Scary looking thing. Let's go with the mask. So this is part of the sort of character customization thing. You get this personal story. So a mesmer's mask creates an image. I choose to look out from behind a harlequin smile, a phantasm of sorrow, or a fanged dread. That's a bit scary. I think I'm going to go with the um, the harlequin smile. Because I'm quite a happy fellow. I don't know. <laughs> it's quite creepy. I like I like the creepy one. Trouble may follow me, but I use my charm, dignity, or ferocity. Obviously, it's the charm. The charm. So the, all these decisions, these affect um, how people you know, interact with you in the in the game and the events that happen. It's a very dynamic game, very changing. You'll see. Um, so I'm just going to choose some of these. At a, at a recent celebratory moot held in Hulebrack, I, I blacked out. A moot? Uh, or I got in a fight, or I lost an heirloom. I didn't know moot was actually a word. Oh, well, I wouldn't have done that. I would have just blacked out. A moot, yeah. It's like a celebration. When I was still a cub, I had a vision. I think n Nor um, Norn, uh, they, um, they're actually not cubs, but they're... So I'm going to go with Snow Leopard. Okay. Awesome. Are you ready, Simon? Let's go. Let's do this. Back. Create character. So now we've got a little entry cutscene. I am Norn, hunter of the wild, born of the free and rugged Shiver Peak Mountains. In the far north, my people fought our greatest enemy, Jormag. Dragon of frost and snow. The dragon broke our pride, but it did not break our spirit. In our last hour, we heard the voices of four of the spirits of the wild bear, raven, snow leopard, wolf. They called us south, away from certain annihilation. We founded the great lodge of Holbrek and claimed new hunting grounds. Some say we should not fight Jormag. I say the greatest risk is to wager nothing at all. One day, a hero will lead us home, and we will break the dragon's icy grip. I weave the scheme of wisdom. My cunning confounds lesser foes. Like my ancestors before me, I seek glory. One day, I will take my place among the heroes of the Norn. 
The spirits of the wild have given me the gifts of trickery and cleverness. I challenge the skill of my enemy. I am a predator. They prey. I am still untested, but already my deeds have earned me friendship and great respect. Each year, a great hunt is called in Holbrook. Only the best among us are invited to participate. I'll prove my worth with guile, collecting trophies to show my prowess. Then, I will drink and boast of my victories. I accept this challenge. I relish it. Come, danger. Come, adventure. In the lodges and halls of my people, my cunning will be remembered through the ages. This is my story. God, I look very creepy with that mask on. Kind of reminds me of the serial killer in um, Nip Tuck. Always wore this weird, <laughs> creepy mask. Oh, hello, I can see you. Which you loaded for quicker than me, obviously. So there you go, man. That's a good little story to intro. Uh, my intro might have been a little bit different from yours, because obviously it's based on the sort of choices that I made on my personal story. And they kind of follow you throughout the whole game to, to the level cap. Hot. Are you in a guild already? You look like a psycho. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I'm terrified already. Then again, I'm looking a bit creepy, so good. I look amazing. Come on now, be honest. I have an auto cast. Oh, you've invited me. Okay. I will join your guild, Heroes of Tyria. Um, it's always what happens when you lev in, lev load in for the first time. You get a guild invite of some random nub. So here we are, playing Guild Wars 2. I can't believe I'm carrying all this junk on my back. Look at this backpack. It's just full of crap. You're an engineer. Blimey. It's full of useful potions. It's not crap. It's your key class ability thing. Ah, here we are. We've got a little, a little introduction cutscene thing. Hail, hero. Are you here to take part in this year's great hunt? Of course I am. Just tell me what needs to be done and stand clear. Hunt down the wildest animals you can find and take trophies from your kills. Present only the finest to Ido the Tanner to prove your worth. Whoever has the best trophy and whose bravery she certainly is the greatest has boobs, will be invited to join she? the Great Hunt. <laughs> she Luke certainly White has. Said this scene's event that will be armor. The most dangerous. It... So be ready. I yeah. Know the renowned Erstigal can my attend. Uh, uh, it's custom made. She's the only After person who can wear that armor. Hunt. Probably. Oh my goodness. So okay, we got to hunt down a monster and kill it, and that will prove that we are eligible to join the Great Hunt. There's a whole bunch of monsters. There's loads of stuff. Right. Uh, so I've got an attack ability here. here. Mind rack. Oh, is that like a do I actually hit them with a... I think I actually have to hit them. I think this is a friendly fella. Um. <laughs> They're lovely, aren't they? They're yeah, lovely. it's a lovely little peaceful bull thing. Oh, what are you doing? Leave that chicken alone. I can hit a chicken with my illusory blade thing. And so when you attack people, you actually unlock your second ability. So my second ability is 20% unlocked. So we need to kill stuff. This is a heal here. Every class has a heal, um, which kind of is based slightly, slightly different. Some of them are different, like the, the thief heals sort of stealth you as well. Um, and these here are the unique class abilities on F1 through F4. Um, so this one here will. Ah! <laughs> oh <Wow>. my god! <laughs> wow! Wow! Let me do that again. That's amazing. No idea what I'm doing. Wow! You're just cooking rabbits. That's fine. Um, oh! Supposed to be hunting oh. for a big. Look! Look! Oh! There we are. There we go. Bring him over here. That's right. Oh, good. Wow! You're not doing very much damage to him. But that's okay. Shoot him. I I don't know what I'm doing with these abilities. I'm just gonna keep attacking with this chain. 
Oh. Hooray! Hooray! So, of course, looting, all you do is you press F and it loots everything automatically into your backpack, which is amazing. Um, also, let's go away. So we finished that mission. Oh, there's so many good things in this game, man. There's dodging, there's jumping. You guys are going to be just blown away by this stuff. You really are. Uh, where are you? You're Ooh. trying to jump up that. No, you shouldn't do that. That's cool. <laughs> the jumping animation looks a little bit strange. <laughs> Ooh. Hurry Ooh. up, Ido. I want to get to the moon before Kettle okay. Kettle drinks all the ale. So, handing in this quest. Hail, Hunter. I'm the local leather worker. Ido's the name. Show me your kills, and I'll make them into trophies you'll be proud to show at the moot. Drinking, singing, and boasting. I love a good old fashioned moot. Moot. Others save their parties for holidays, but I say every day of lives worth celebrating. Hey, Newt! Newt! Look at this Newt holds cool. really good moots. Worthy of the great hunt, I'd say. And the best. The best moots. Indeed. Hold by Newt. Enough to defeat your prey, and why you have to, in order to get in, you have to bring him a lot of loot. You have to bring Newt a lot of loot to get into the moot. Otherwise, he'll give you the boot. <laughs> okay, so we have to go and hunt a big worm. The great air Stegalkan watches over him now, waiting for the hunt to commence. When it is time, you and the others will go to the high ground, over the valley. There you will face Isormir, and claim victory, if you can. I can and I will. This is where my legend begins. I'm very cocky. Okay, so... I'm not sure where we go. Uh, well, you just go towards the massive green arrow on the minimap. So on the map, if you hit M, you see that big green arrow there? That says where we need to go. This is where we've been, and this is sort of the, the tutorial area. So we have to do these basic sort of quests to get ourselves out of this little area. Um, I'll be over, over with you in a second. Oh! Oh, snappers! Up here! Um, Okay. Right. This is the lady here, who is like the great huntress. Um, oh, she's off. She is off. Oh. Okay. We're going up a mountain, I guess. I believe so. Yes. To the the den of the great worm of frost. Is that her wolf there? I guess it is. It's a pet. Oh, snappers. There's a lot of, uh. Oh. Thing is here. Ah, okay, this is like a, a public sort of quest thing event. So we have to. Together, we have to defeat lots of worm hatchlings. Um. And we've got some other people coming in here. Oh my god. It's quite noisy being an engineer, Lewis. Blimey. Is it? Lots of shooting things. I like it. I like it. Pew! Oh yeah, I've pew, summoned an illusion pew. there. Did you see that? Amazing. So there's there's my illusion. Oh no, it got owned. They're not very... Oh god, I'm getting beaten to death. Oh, they use my heal. Use your heal. Use your heal. Everyone gets a heal. Every class has a heal in this game. And every class Ooh. can res as well. Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> oh! Uh, oh my good lord! Well, you may need that res, <laughs> by the way. Yep. We might need to use it. Oh my god! Well. Okay, let's get him. Oh, that's not him okay. at all. Okay. Uh, oh! Oh god! It's like hurling me around, Lewis. Isamir. Okay, let's get him. Oh! I'll shoot him a bunch of times. It's in my illusion, I am. So I can actually destroy my clone with F1. Like this. And it will do damage. Um, to all people around her. 
hurled a buff at you. Did you? That's a lot of damage, isn't it? That's horrible. Oh god! Make sure you don't stand in the circles, because that's bad. Okay. Oh. It seems to be summoning more worms out of these circles. Oh. Oh, damn it. So that's like a charge, and I'm using it very poorly. I'm getting knocked back by this worm. Oh my god. Are you a ranged class, by the way? Yeah. I'm shooting it with the pistol. Oh right, I see. I see you. Pew 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 pew! You're doing a good job there, man. <laughs> it is literally pew 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 and then I use my special ability and it goes pew 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> What's your special ability? It's amazing. It's like a poisonous volley. I've got a third ability which is Illusionary Leap. So I summon a clone who jumps in And then I jump as well. I summon an extra clone. So I've now got two clones. Wow. Clones, if well, they all just died. Damn it. They're not very... I've got a lot of life, clones. <laughs> He's real. Let's finish him off. Let's finish him off. I'm gonna kill all my clones. Boom. Let's kill this son of a bitch. He's going down. He's nearly dead. Oh. Oh, you devilish worm! Go back to hell! Where you came from! <laughs> Yay! Oh, snappers. Ugh. It's dead. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go.